Hey, hey, everybody. It's me, Monkey Puzzle, hanging from this hang glider here, ready for more Rise of the Resonant Monkeys, playing Resonant Rise 3 here on our little server. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let me look where I'm going before I run into something. So last I left you, we had just made a quarry, and that's here under the sheep farm. And these two episodes, last one and this one, was stuff plus storage. So we're getting more stuff coming in. And today we got to work on better places to put it. And just a recap of what happened here with the quarry. It got all done. There is the bedrock. I guess we don't have the flat bedrock in this map. It's all jagged and stuff. A couple of things of note are one, I found that those frozen fossil things from the fossil and archaeology map i forgot what they're called but the, those little frozen pieces they're really hard on the quarry because i had water running over here to turn all the lava into obsidian and they actually create ice and the quarry kept having to come over and get the ice out and it probably used extra energy it was at least very distracting for the quarry and took it longer and once those energy cells that i'd put up here had run out when I was with you, I had put up 16 survivalist generators. These are just the straight up first tier, one time uh, uh, kind. And I ended up having to put in all of these. So I put in four more blocks of 16. And that was finally enough to keep the thing running at a good clip. So I'm going to turn all these into eight time survivalist generators. So I'm just going to have to do this. So for the survivalist generators, uh, I made these originally. So they each basically take a little bit of iron and redstone and a piston. Um, but they're great because they use the energy really slowly. I mean, I think each of these only gives five RF per tick, but you get minutes and minutes out of one piece of coal. Uh, so you get the most power out of the, out of the, the material, whatever fuel resource you're using, but it just is slow and you need a lot of them. Now you can combine eight of these into one of these, which I'm gonna do next. I don't think I'll do it on camera because this is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I was just waiting till I had a little bit more gold to do it with. I guess gonna make one of these to put in the middle. And this takes all that, a lot of redstone, and each of these takes redstone and gold. So lots of gold and redstone to hook those together. Eventually, I'll hook them all up into the time 64 ones, but this is gonna take bedrockium, and we're not there yet. Although I watched a little tutorial on RF tools last night, and it looks like they have a crafter that's going to be really handy for making compressed cobblestone. Anyway, that's the update down here. I had fun keeping an eye on that. I didn't get as much stuff as I wanted to out of it, actually. I'm going to need to do it again. But I got a lot of junk from all these mods. The main thing I was after was gold and iron. Of course, diamonds are always nice. Um, but didn't get too much of that. I only got like 23 diamonds out of the whole thing. I even went down in there and chased some of them uh, with my fortune pick while it was revealing them. So not very high. And I got a little bit more gold than this, but not very much. What I did get is tons and tons of obsidian all over the place. I got it in various places. And all the silver and lead and everything I'll ever need for that. So no lack of that. And let me see, downstairs is where I was storing everything, just throwing stuff into these chests down here, just a little brute force storage system. And I meant lots of junk, I mean, besides tons of silver and lead and stuff, we got lots of this essence dust uh, from Magical Crops, which I haven't used yet, but I'm not adverse to getting into, and uh, lots of fossil junk, and, and tons of shards and so on and lots of stuff either from chisel 2 or from artifice so yeah all these different mods create all their stuff that's filling this up and uh we'll use most of it in the end all these rocky bees are going to be useful uh even the gravel was useful and i got towards the end i got tons of basalt cobblestone that's mostly what there is down in the lower levels so we're gonna have to build something black oh yeah and this is the stuff I was talking about, the permafrost. The permafrost creates the ice whenever it's next to water, which will be useful 
whenever I need ice, but right now I don't have a big call for it. Anyway, uh, and lots of yellowite and uranium ore as well. And I may actually do a big reactor this time. I've been adverse to them before, but we're kind of giving ourselves the freedom in this pack to do it all. And why not make a big reactor? I'm letting myself use heat generators from Mechanism up there. So, and you know, I'm not adverse to using the windmills and the solar collectors. So why not do the big reactor, which is actually a bit more work than those and actually uses a resource, the yellow Yellorium, wherever I put it. So anyway, yeah, I want to do the quarry again. And maybe after doing the Buildcraft quarry one more time, then we'll move on up to the extra utilities quarry. The, uh, oh gosh, I'm forgetting the name of it now. I just did a bunch of stuff for my job and I'm forgetting the names of all this stuff. The Ender quarry. So there's that. Um, but that's a bit more expensive. I'm pretty sure we can do it now. I think it may use more power too, but it's just more server friendly and a lot less work for me. Just paying attention. Wouldn't have to worry about permafrost anymore and lava and stuff like that. Um, but we do get less obsidian that way and obsidian was a good resource. Now I don't have to spend a bunch of time, uh, chopping up obsidian because I haven't used the turtle this time. I was trying to get away from that because that's a usual habit of mine. Anyway. This room down here is where I want to make our ME system. I'm going to jump right into that so we can just dump all our junk into there. And, you know, I'll have to attach deep storage and stuff to it as I go along. However, I want to go ahead and do that. But let's just get the basic thing made for now. I can fine tune it off camera. First, I figured out where I got to hook up to for power and it's going to go up there. And I put most of the materials I'm going to need in here. I got tons of Certus Quartz, both charged and not charged. What I didn't grab... Oh, it actually made an easier way to go back and forth to grab stuff up there. What I didn't grab was a bunch of the, the conduit, the flux duct. And I know I have a bunch of it somewhere for this. I thought I did. Ah, oh, here it is. Just didn't see it. It's the hardened flux duct. <laughs> so we're going to go down here and we're going to tie into this power right here. So let me throw something out of my inventory and I got to turn my phone off too. I am expecting a call though. Um, and yeah, we're just going to hook it this way. And then I think I'm just going to go under here. I got to go under the elevator. So that won't be too bad right here. Let's just open that up and go under the elevator and then we'll bring it back up to the surface up here and then we'll just uh throw some some panels on it uh to cover it up whatever they're called i forget what they're called now with the flux duct they came up with their own kind of facade for this again so we now have like three kinds of facade at this point we have the ae2 facade we've got the ender io facade and now we've got the flux duct facade whatever it's called anyway so now we got some power i love having having the uh the um silk touch on the pick because then i can just throw the stuff back like that we'll just leave this exposed for now so what i did is usually i put in all the recipes in these kind of crafting stations and do it like that but what i decided to do for this one since we're going to be making some of the same things over and over again is make some of these work tables from forestry and see if we can use those to do some of this. So let's just get these out of here. You're out of here. And I think our center is actually right here. So let's go ahead and do that and put these in here. And then we can put the materials that we need to use in these as we go along. So there's one, two, three. We'll start with maybe the center one. And um, that might be all I need for now. Let me just grab a bunch of this junk. I know I'm going to need some of it for now that and that oh and you know what i forgot we need to go on an adventure too we need to get the logic press i've got three of the other one or i've got all three of the other ones there's four that you need and yeah we're gonna need to grab the fourth the logic press so we'll go after that in just a second let's just throw some of this stuff in here um okay and the first thing we're going to need to make 
for anything else is the energy acceptor. So let's see what we need for that. Oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna need to start making Fluix crystals right away. And we're also gonna need the inscribers. So the inscriber is made like that. And I know I can make that right now. I actually should have done it. Oh, I could have done it from inside there. So let's do that. Does that work? Yes. And well, we have everything. Oh, we still need the Fluix crystals. So the Fluix crystals uh, are pretty easy. We need a bucket of water. And then uh, we need, let me see, it's nether quartz and redstone and charged certus. So let's go ahead and do that and make a puddle somewhere. I'm not sure where our crystal growth acceleration thingy do is going to be, uh, but it could be anywhere in here. This whole room is going to be devoted to applied energistics in the end and all my storage needs, which I will access from everywhere else on the map. Uh, right now, Let's throw it, oh, let's do it over here. And yeah, we'll eventually build the crystal growth accelerators around this. Yeah, do I want it there? No, I'll do it right here. Let's put it on the center. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll go maybe over here. All gonna change, I'm sure. But I think if we just throw these things in, if I remember correctly, throw it in the puddle and we'll get popcorning Fluix crystals. Yeah! <laughs> I know some people really love the fireworks and some people really hate them. I think it says something about people whether they do or they don't. <laughs> Luckily, Cat Dog, Pig Duck, and I both love, love the fireworks. It's very cool. All right, so we have those now, which means we can make lots more stuff. So let's put those in there. And we're going to need four of these. And what did I run out of? I didn't make enough sticky pistons. So I gotta make some of those. That's not very interesting. I'd say for now, let's go on our little adventure. And it's nighttime too, so that should make it even more adventurous. But let me see, we wanna go over here. We have a thing where there's three meteorites. And if I can't find the press with three meteorites, uh, we're in trouble. So I just got to go basically south, south, uh, east with that. And look, I still was. You could see me flying along there. So let's get on over there and we'll see how many mobs there are. If it's looking too hectic, I may have to sleep in my sleeping bag for a moment. But let's go ahead and locate these. We're on an adventure. <laughs> All right, let me see, where are we? Oh, I passed them. All right, they're back up over here. Can tell I haven't been getting out enough lately. Okay, there's one of them right there, two and three. And it doesn't look too bad for mobs, I say now. See, we can get rid of that skeleton over there. And that's done for, and all right, let's just go for this. You know, I don't know, I haven't tested actually if my Paxel can do Skystone. Oh, no problem. Okay, I hear a zombie somewhere. Right here, that's it. Piece of Skystone. What a ripoff. All right, let's go check out this one and see what we find. Oh, look, we got a Chocobo over here. Hello, Chocobo. I read my Chocobo manual, so I'm all set to uh, breed Chocobos, which I'll probably still do for fun. Problem is with the jetpack, one of the things I didn't want to, why I didn't want to have a jetpack is because, uh, that's it? Lead nuggets? Oh my god. <laughs> These are the worst asteroids I have ever been at. Okay, and there's our third. Um, the main thing you can get out of chocobos is eventually when you breed the highest tier, you can fly. They can also walk on water. Apparently they're very good steeds. What? Not a, pr oh. It's because cat dog's been here. Aha! I've been robbed. I've been beaten to the tombs. <laughs> this is like Raiders of the Lost Ark or something like that. Uh, anyway. All right. So I have to go around and find where the rest of them are. Let me see. So I'm going to go locate some more asteroids. I'm sure there's some more on the map. And we will get what we need. Maybe that's one. I'll go check that out. I'll see you when I get to one.
I'm just flying south. I'm seeing all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this village. That's awesome. I'm not going to stop and check them out right now because I want to get on with this episode. But look at that. That's awesome too. And then we got the obelisks from Thomcraft. And then uh, I turned around just to show you those guys because then up here, look at that. There's a castle. Who are these guys? Let's see if they shoot at us. Hello. Are you guys bad guys? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head onward. <laughs> Got to stop to raid the temples, at least. <laughs> Couldn't resist. So many things to explore. Wow, and look at this. So many cool things. Okay, I just want to look at them long enough to see what mod they're from. I'll turn Wayla on. And see if I can see who that is. Okay, Ancient Warfare. Aha, I had a feeling. We will be back to raid you. <laughs> and these look kind of like asteroids, but they're, well, they're supposed to be like an asteroid hit, but these are from Recurrent Complex. They don't have the goods that we need, but they look neat. So much structure generation in this pack. I've seen so many villages, some of them huge, look like met metropolises. And this has this thing full of build craft pipes. And then over here, we have your basic Thomcraft little uh, obsidian pillar thing. But then over here, look at this. <laughs> We're going to have to come back and explore when I have more time in the episode. I'm going to check this chest, though. See what we have in here. I got to get to the asteroid, though, and move on with this. Goodies! Well, I flew around a bunch, but in the time frame I have for today's episode, I was not able to find one. I checked with Cat Dog, Pig Duck. I wasn't able to get a hold of him, but he's got a bunch of them here. I'm sure it's going to be fine if I snag one. I left him a note. If it's not, I can copy it and give it back. And it uh, looks like... He has been to quite a few, or else he's been uh, making them himself out of the sky stone. He's got all these uh, sky chests, sky stone chests around. But I'm in his lovely industrial base right here. And let's take a look from above. He's been doing quite a bit. I got to do the... I got to start Britannia pretty soon, too. And he's been using the hydrangeas or whatever, the ones that use the water. He's got this tower of power... From the water the hydroelectric mana so i might take a page from that book as well so anyway thank you cat dog pig duck for completing the set of four and hopefully that's cool and let's get back to building all right so back at my base down here we have that so we should be Good to go. Oh yeah, I was supposed to make some sticky pistons. Be right back with those. Sticky pistons. And back at it. So down in here, put those in there. And now this is going to remember the inscriber recipe. Uh, but not that I'll need the inscriber recipe again. I'm set for that. Uh, but that's the cool thing about these work tables is as we do stuff, it remembers. So let me grab some conduits and we're going to get set up making some of the circuits or chips or whatever they're called that we need with these presses and now that we got all four here and so i was thinking about it and basically we're going to need one actually i'm going to need a fifth inscriber that's right uh, each one of these is going to be set up making its certain thing. I'll just leave it with those in them. And then they'll all go to the point where they get sandwiched together to form the final chip. Uh, I'm going to make one more inscriber and then we'll put it together on this wall. Okay, there's one more inscriber. And then... I haven't quite figured out how I want to place all these, but... Basically, we, they're going to need power, too, as well. I'm not sure if they can take power directly or not. That's a good question. Let's start with the logic press. 
And this one's gonna need silicone, actually, which I didn't bring down here either. Did I bring some silicone? I didn't. I tried to be prepared. But let's do the one with gold. Let's do the logic one instead. You put gold in there, and if it's working, it should press it. So it said it was doing something. Yeah, so it can just take power directly. So these don't need to even be on the network at all. So that's excellent. So just to make things simple, as far as layout, instead of having to string more power, I'm going to put one, two, three, four right here. Move mushroom. And then I'm going to give them each a chest with the various things they need. So that one gets one, that one gets one, that one gets one. And I will make sure that these get separated. But I don't have enough chests here, but then this will have gold. This will have uh, the um, pure Certus Quartz crystals. There'll be another chest here with diamonds and then a th fourth chest with silicone. And then all of them will get channeled into the respective places, making the final assembled chip. So let me get the pieces I need to finish that up and we'll get that into operation. I played with it for a while. I think it's working now for it to fully function though. I'm gonna need some pure Certus Quartz. And to get that, I need to set up the crystal growth accelerators. And you know, and I think I remember hearing that they can connect directly to power, that they don't need to be part of the ME network. So I'm gonna try putting it over here out of the way. Like I said, I'll come up with niftier ways to do this, but one of the reasons I'm dedicating the whole room is so I just have space to play with it and to have all the guts exposed for the moment.